Welcome to Let's Curate's webcast series. It's that time of the year when all of New York City gets excited for one of its finest art trade shows. This event attracts galleries, artists, and publishers from the fields of ceramics, paintings, sculptures, and much more. This is the third consecutive year we're presenting, and we're excited to speak to one of our artisans today. I'm thrilled to welcome for the second consecutive year Estonian ceramist Veronika Mozesov. Veronica's creations partner harmoniously with the other, enhancing their shared fragrance and aesthetic allure. Her innovative works have graced galleries not only in her homeland, but also in the culturally vibrant city of Paris and beyond. We will be sharing links to her work for Art Expo 2024. Hi, Veronica. Thank you for joining us today. Hi. I would like to begin by, you know, you've come here for the second time, but we have a brand new audience. And I'm sure our viewers and listeners want to know more about yourself in terms of your background and education. So can you please share a little information on that front? Yes. My background is rotated in a lifelong club for a hand on activities and cre creativity. I pursued my passion by studying at Tallinn University, specializing in teaching handicrafts. Following my education, I spent a decade working as a teacher in school. However, my journey took an expected turn in autumn 2020 when I discovered a, a profound connection with ceramics. It was a love with first touch. <laughs> and the demand to continue exploring this new form found passion i began experimenting with clay at home leading me to the decision to make ceramics a central part of my life in 2022 i took a leap to become a full-time ceramics artist embracing the freedom to create and express myself through this medium how incredible. So you started as a teacher and now you're a full-time ceramics artisan. It's quite a, yes. it is like you said, a leap in your, in your journey. But I mean, you know, we've seen over the past years how amazing your creations are with so much texture and, um, you know, in terms of the concepts too. The one thing I noticed is that forms and colors seem to be very, very important for you in your work. Can you tell us why and how does that really influence your work when you're thinking of an idea? Yes, as a ceramics artist, my creative journey is deeply rotated in the explanation of forms and colors. I'm fascinated by the interplay between shapes, textures and hues and how they come together to convey emotions and narrative with each piece. Uh, drawing inspiration from the natural world, I find myself drawn to earthy tones and vibrant colors, but reflect the beauty and diversity of our surroundings. My aim is to create pieces that not only captivate the eye, but also resonate with a soul inviting views to immerse themselves in a visual and emotional journey through the interplay of form and colors. You're so right. You're, when I look at your creations, I really do feel a connection from the soul. Uh, you know, <laughs> because they, they almost, almost feel like they're flowing and they're fluid and it's dynamic and it's not just one piece and you look at your piece and it changes all the time. So it's it's pretty incredible the way you've described it because I, I love the way you said that it's, it's literally a creation that touches the soul. I think that's exactly a, a very beautiful explanation of your work. Um, you. When you think of, you know, a, an idea, do you work on one creation at a time or do you prefer building a big collection? 
I prefer working on one piece at a time. It allows me to focus and uh, delve deeply into exploring its form, texture and color. This approach let me pour my creativity into each individual creation and ensures a more organic creative process. Overall, it allows for a deeper connection with each artwork. Tell us about the work that you know you've submitted for Art Expo 2024. I see this fantastic structure, and I really am so excited to learn more about it. Yes, uh, gravity. It's gravity, and it's my ceramics artwork. Uh, what explores both the physical and metama. Uh, metaphorical aspects of its namesake. Uh, visually, its features, dynamic curves and intricate textures evoking movement and energy. Metaphorically, the piece tells into the unsent connection between individuals and communities inviting views to contemplate their forces and shapes our life. Through this artwork, I aim to evoke a sense of wonder and inter introspection, highlighting the interconnectedness of the world around us. Wondrous is the right way to describe this, this beautiful thing that you've created, and I'm so thrilled that you have allowed us to present this work. Where do you think your journey will take you next? Have you thought about your next idea or are you still working on it? Do you think you will still do ceramics or you're going to move to something else? Uh, as an artist, I believe my journey will continue to evolve and unfold in unexpected ways. I'm inspired by world around and intrigued by new techniques and concepts in ceramics. Moving forward, I am expected for future exploring themes of natural emotions and human connection in my artwork. I'm interested in experimenting with different form, textures and glasses to push the boundaries of my creative expressions. Uh, my goal is to continue growing as a ceramic artist. <laughs> we wish you the very, very best, Veronica. I have no doubt that, you know, you're meant for much, much bigger things. And like I said, it is our honor to present your work at Art Expo this year. Um, I want to let our viewers know that Art Expo takes place from April 4th to 7th in New York City. We will be posting this webcast on our YouTube channel and social media channels soon so you can view and purchase Veronica's amazing work even if you cannot attend in person. For more updates, follow us on Instagram at let's underscore curate and happy curating everyone.